President Mwamadu Buhari and others to face international criminal court over genocide against IPOB members and Southeasterners pro article group. Atiku is the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 election. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Pro Biafra, Pro Atiku Abubakar Group, I beg your pardon, the Southeast Grand Coalition Alliance for Atiku has said, that President Muhammad Buhari led administration must face International Criminal Court, ICC, for the genocide committed with the Prime Tom Dance military operations conducted in the Southeast Nigeria. Atiku is the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 election. According to Kenneth Ozumeka, Ozumeka Austin, the leader of the group, President Muhammad Buhari should face the International Criminal Court, ICC, for the alleged genocide committed with the Python Dance military operations conducted in the Southeast region. Austin, who made this known in a statement on Saturday, urged the Southeast to accept the olive branch offered to the region by Atiku and some reliable Northern leaders. Austin said, the call became necessary because the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi lacks the necessary wear weather to win the elections. Austin assured that he was privy to a meeting held in the residence of a retired military general and one-time Minister of Defence in Abuja, during which part of the day was concluded and ratified. According to Austin, who spoke on the sidelines of a press conference by the group in Atiku, in Abakeleke, the Eboin state capital, part of the agreement was that Atiku, if elected president, shall within the first 100 days in office ensure that the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namde Kanu is released or conditionally. The second is that Atiku has promised to work to actualize the dream of an Igbo presidency by ensuring he hands over to an Igbo successor, pointing to Atiku's repeated promises to be stepping stone to Igbo presidency. One of these affirmations was made by Atiku early this week on Tuesday during the party's presidential campaign rally in Enugu, he said. According to Austin, this is the third time the PDP presidential candidate made the promise to Igbo people in the Southeast. Atiku first made the promise in September during a zonal conference of the PDP in Enugu. It was noted that the PDP candidate also made the same promise during his campaign flag off for the Southeast region in Oka, Anambra State in December. Speaking during the rally in Enugu on Tuesday, the former vice president said he will still stood by his words. Third, he said is the undertaking by Article to cooperate fully in the ongoing international criminal court, investigating and ensuring prompt prosecution of the outgoing president, Muhammad Buhari, and top officials of his administration, like the Attorney General of the Federation, the Chief of Armed Staff, Army Staff, and the GOC 82, 80, 82 Division of the Nigerian Army for the alleged genocide committed during the Python Dance military operations conducted in the Southeast region. Already, the International Criminal Court, ICC, and the HUD is investigating the September 2017 invention of a community in Abia State by soldiers of the Nigerian Army during a military exercise codenamed Operation Python Dance 2, 
Egweke, which would only get the, the backing and the cooperation of governments which Atiku has promised. In the letter obtained with reference number OTP CR413-17, dated March 20, 2018, published by The Sun, is the second response by the court to the pet, uh, uh, petitioner. It was confirmed that the military invention and vets recorded were already under preliminary examination by the RC Office of the Prosecutor. Part of the letter signed by Mark Dolan, held of the Information and Evidence Unit of the Office of the Prosecutor, reads, Accordingly, your communication will be analyzed in this context with the assistance of other related communications and other available information, Austin said. Austin made a reference to a meeting between the Northern Elders Forum and Southern Southeast leaders, where the NEF chairman Angu Adulai presented all the terms agreed upon. He noted that Adulai, in an interview with the Tribunal of, of February 12, 2023, confirmed his meeting, saying NEF is still discussing with other stakeholders from other parts of the country who are interested in the elections. Even today, Thursday, we are having a meeting with the representatives of the Oranese in Abuja. NEF and Oranese are meeting right now, and we don't know the outcome of their discussion yet. Austin further quoted Adulai as saying to portray his claim. So guys, what's your take on this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below.